Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the ESPN NFL 2K5 franchise mode with the Jacksonville Jaguars here on the Wonder Soul YouTube channel. Guys, wow. Uh, so we lost Vic for three weeks. Uh, Moss, Santana Moss, are our number one wide receiver for two weeks. So we have five games left. Uh, so for the next couple of videos, you're going to see a vic list Jaguars team. I just wanted to open up this uh, video. I know some people have been asking about the team standings. As you can see, we are ahead uh, in a really good dominant position in the AFC South uh, with our A and three record currently. Hopefully, that doesn't uh, get bad all of a sudden. I don't know. Maybe because our star quarterback is out. I don't know. Uh, so there you go. There's that. Um, I also wanted to show you guys the power rankings. We are currently number four. Uh, the top five being Miami with a seven and four record us with our eight and three Atlanta nine and two, and then Philly nine and two and San Fran. Um, on top of that, we have the playoff picture. If the AFC, if the playoffs started today, they would have us as a number one seed. And then Atlanta would be the number one seed for the NFC. So there you have it. Not much to say from the rookie report. But, um, hey, it's week 13. We're going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, this isn't the uh, current Pittsburgh Steelers team that you've been seeing. They're actually 2-9. and nine, So, this is oddly a good game to go up against a team with a weaker record with our starting quarterback being hurt. Uh, we're going to be relying a lot more on the run here for the next couple weeks. So, hopefully, we can uh, power through some of these teams. For the next couple of games or the, for the remainder of this season, you're going to see the Steelers in this video. Uh, next will be the Chicago Bears, 5-6, and six, and the 6-5 and five Green Bay Packers, and then we have the Houston Texans. Let me see. I got my camera on the way. 4-7 uh, and seven Houston Texans. We'll be playing them again, and then we'll finish off the season against our Oakland Raiders team, which is 3-8. and eight. So let's go ahead and get into it. It's our first game without Vic. Without Moss, can we pull it out? Well, you're about to find out as the Jaguars take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Hey, I'm Chris Berman, coming up on ESPN. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours out there from all of us at the Worldwide Leader. No matter how much you packed away at the dinner table, we still got a great buffet of football that should whet your appetite like Aunt Agnes's stuffing. You know who that is. A good one on tap here. Pittsburgh Steelers, Jacksonville Jaguars, straight ahead. Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Welcome to All Tell Stadium. I'm Dan Steele. My accomplice, Peter O'Keefe, is here beside me. And Peter, we've got a bit of a mismatch between these two teams, at least on paper. Well, it certainly looks that way, Dan definitely have a big challenge in front of them to win this game Dan however don't count them out because they're not going down without a fight we'll see if they can pull off this upset today and now let's go down to the coin toss choose heads It's tails. So we're playing a night game here on Thanksgiving Day. Maybe the week of Thanksgiving. I don't know. I heard Chris talk about that. As you saw, Wallace is going to be the starting quarterback. Uh, not Smoker, who you saw come and take a knee in the last video. Wallace, he is uh just better with his accuracy so hopefully him and dante hall can open up a lot of uh you know momentum here for our offense look guys should be a good one regardless let's finish the season strong and let's get a win here against the pittsburgh steelers chris brown kicking off for the jaguar the ref gets the signal it's and we're set jaguar! brown kicks it off to begin the game Dwight decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 23. Tim Dwight got out close to the 20 on that one, so he's incomplete. Hopefully, 
quick first down, but uh oh, no, uh -oh. Is that Moss? Is Moss back? That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Uh, yeah, I, it was. Mo I thought Moss was supposed to be hurt. I'm sorry, guys. I don't usually do this. Okay, yeah, Jacksonville. Okay, Moss is back. He was supposed to be out for a couple weeks. I guess he's okay. Ontario right. Smith used the blocking, but this stingy defense. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see what Wallace can do. Let's see if we can get a first down. Good catch. Good throw. Good job, Moss. So we do have Moss back. So okay, we just gotta work without Vic for a couple weeks, guys. That's weird. Nice, nice throw here, Vic. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah, that accuracy was high. That was the deciding factor when it came to uh, between him and Smoker. Uh, maybe we're in a good spot here without Vic. I mean, we definitely lose a lot of our game here, but oh no. No, guys! Why didn't nobody pick it up? We're all just standing there. Oh. So we get, we cough it up, Smith, coughing it up. Dang. What happened? Look, we had 74. We had so many people. Okay. Right, let's see what we can get going. The shift, though. Get six yards on that. Come on, Smith. You got to redeem yourself, my guy. That fumble is just not gonna cut it, dude. And will gain close to six. Mike Goff used every ounce of his big self to use a key blocking on that last play. Nothing. Uh, all right, third and four. Smith gets the call again and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. So hopefully they blitz in so I can throw it to L1. There you go, Hall. I need to throw it a little bit faster. Then he can get. Good job, Double 15. Wow. There we go. Right, we're going to go ahead and keep the flow going. We're actually going to do a weak fullback dive. We don't really do a lot of fullback runs. Ooh, there we go. He always ends up breaking those tackles, man. They're nice. Super clean. All right, I'm going to do a play action. I'm looking for 84. All right, or just, or, or just scramble. Can he scramble a little bit? He's got a little bit of speed there. It's not as much as Vic, obviously, but he can still do something. It's going to be hard to break those habits of having Vic on our team. There we go, there we go, there we go. Good job, Smith. Good run, man. Oh, I kind of did that a little early, but hey, man, he was able to break a couple of tackles. Yeah. Just don't cough it up. Right. So charging up is definitely the way to go. Starting to notice that a lot. Ontario Smith used the blind, right. but this might be defense looking at L1. It'll be second down. Gotta take what you can get, Dan, but they were Okay. Should have just ran it. I didn't know he was gonna throw it like that. But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> third and third and five. Gonna do another rollout here. And this will be the eighth play of the drive. There we go, Moss. Ooh, I love it. There we go. I feel you. We need to pull that back out when Vic is out there, man, because that seems to be a winner. What a good play here. A little play action, and then we roll out a little bit. We almost scrambled it. Look at that. That accuracy. That's what I'm talking about. He's been known to pull those moves off on occasion. He's got what you want. There's the second quarter already. So nobody's scored yet. But I feel a lot better getting out here and seeing what Wallace can do. So let's, let's get some points on the board. So 
So it depends on what we got here from 51. He looks like he's in coverage though, to be honest. So we're gonna do a weak ISO. Hey, there you go, Smith. All right, all right, all right. Second and goal. Look at that. I think Smith has more fumbles than touchdowns this season. I, I kind of believe it. And he's going to do it. Let's go. 15. Is that Vic or is that Wallace? I can't tell. But hey, we scrambled in. Oh, okay. We're in good hands, guys. We, we might be all right for the next couple of weeks. Good job. I wanted to give him that touchdown. You know, give give him the confidence. He earned it. Good job, 15. So there we go, man. Our offense is in good hands. If we don't make mistakes, I think we'll be all right. Now the point after. Just happy we got some points on the board. 11 plays, 81 yards in under three minutes. Let's go 15. No chance for a reception. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball right. of the game. And motion, motion, motion. Bruce, and bring the blitz in with their lacquer. Oh, we get right behind him. Oh, we walk right beside him. Oh, wow. And I knew it, 26 was going to make a play eventually. And we just ran right next to him, guys. Off of the blitz, Clint Portis just runs right by Erlacher and just takes it. Wow. Well, it's a tie ball game. And that's always after that very disappointing punt. Nice opportunity for this offense. The Steelers will start this drive at their own 25 yard line. What? And the reception is made oh my gosh. Just wide open. Wide open. And when I knew it, we had to watch out for an 80, man. I don't know how he was so open on that play, but they just got him. I don't know who was supposed to cover him. Look at that. 33. All right. Well, now we're down. This might be a sleeper trap game, guys. We're going to have to get our stuff going. Look at those receiving yards. Still got a lot of time left in this football game. Can't get too phased by these big plays that they're doing. 75 yards. Wow. Oh, my gosh. They're just finding a man open every time. We're going to go too soft here. We're not getting the pressure I want, so we're going to have to play coverage. There we go. Just as I say that. Is that Julius Peppers? Good job, 90. We needed that. Do three weak. Now they might. They, it looks like they might run it here. Yo, chill it. Chill it. There we go. I'll take that any day. Good job, Tillman, being in the position. That's it. That's it. That's easy. Come on now. Come on now. So, what do we do here? What do we do here? Yeah, they're playing deep. There you go, Hall. Did he get it? No way! He didn't get the touchdown! No way! Dante Hall is gonna make a great play right Oh here. wow! Dante! And then really turns on the juice. I'm sure he's glad to finally make He was over the line! He was over the line! Oh, I can't even review it, guys. Oh, we're going into halftime. Down 14-7. to Oh, that's rough. Can I even replay? I can't even replay it. Oh, that sucks. All right, guys. I'll talk to you in the third. Now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer?
All right, Dan, interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. The Jaguars, therefore, find themselves in a tight ball game. Anything can happen in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. John Moms Mobley is going to come up with a big play here. Whoop! The ball's loose. Scramble. He's there to grab it. The Jags now early in the second quarter. The ball at the six. Seneca Wallace got the carry here, and he was able to break through. A five-yard touchdown for the Jaguars. Steelers still in the second quarter. Steelers down by seven. Clinton Portis got the football here. And you know what? This was all individual effort. He broke off a big one. They tie it up. Seven all. The Jags later in the second. Seneca Wallace would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Game tied. Seven all. The Reverend Isaac Bruce came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 75-yard touchdown for the Steelers. The Jags midway through the second. Seneca Wallace would find his target on this one. Steelers late into the second quarter. Steelers out in front by seven. Charles Tillman is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Jags have it off an interception. Dante Hall was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. And that's where we'll leave this one. Jags are down but still in it. 14 to 7. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. The Reverend Isaac Bruce has played like a man possessed. So that'll do it from here. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. All right, so we're back. We're down 14 to 7, but a lot of positives. A lot of positives. I feel confident that we can we can manage without Vic, but I wish we would have got that touchdown at the very end. We didn't, so we're just going to have to do it here. So we had a fumble, touchdown, punt, punt, time expired. Yeah, that fumble at the beginning was unfortunate. But let's get out here and just get something going with our offense. We got playmakers out here, and we just need somebody to step it up. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna guard him now. Dang, how are we not able to get those uh, those drags across the middle, man? I, I just don't understand. Right, let's do strong G toss. Let's get to the run game. Let's get something. Alright, third and five. Let's go. Doing it again. It's like the same type of plays. Um. Don't mind 90x hot because Dante Hall is usually open. This guy comes in. There we go, Dante. Nice. I always get a little nervous. I get a little nervous. Good job, 82. Dante Hall has three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. If we can just find him. If we can find him a, uh, a kind of route that seems like he can just take it to the house, that would be fantastic. He's already got over 100 yards, so we're going to do another rollout here. That's what I'm talking about right there. Good job, 82. Like 82 was ready for 15, vice versa. When Vic went down and I thought Moss was down, it felt like I was going to have to rely on Dante Hall. So far, so good. Alright, let's not rely on him too much. Um, yeah, we'll just do the we'll do the week. There we go. Eight yard run. Good job, Smith. Ontario Smith played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Peter, what a nice Let's get it going. Let's get it going. And short situation. Let's get the first down. Oh, just nothing. All right, what do we got here? 
Can we find 84? There we go. Good job, Johnson. Way to be open and make a play, man. Get the first down. Yeah, yeah, we got to watch out for Bruce. That's 80 on Pittsburgh when we get back out on defense. Uh, try to slide through there. Got three yards. About three yards. All right. What have you got? Okay. All right. And right, we're going to do this. It's called 90H dump. I'm actually going to try to throw it to Smith. Ball up the 16 yard line. Or just scramble. There we go. Good job, Wallace. First and goal. <laughs> It'll be first it didn't look like it was going to work. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and try to get it tied up. Dangerous when he had lips, Dan. Check it out. Oh, that scramble got him some yards. He was lucky on that. Nice. Nice. Look, 10 for 15, 200 yards and a touchdown. I mean, the wide receivers have definitely showed out today. What can we find? Just go ahead. Just go ahead. There we go. Good job, 15. There you go. Wow. This guy is the the one, man. He really is coming in after Vic gets hurt and 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 playing the best ball, man. Good job, Wallace. Oh, that yeah, that could have been bad. Let's go ahead and get this punt. We got two and a half minutes to get anything on the board. Anything. All right, so we're on the 31. It's not a bad, not not a bad place to start. First and the Jaguars had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at the third. Okay, Hall. Jeez, didn't have to do that, man. Not have to do that. Six receptions. Wow. That will help your fantasy team. Oh, almost. Oh. Right, we got to stop forcing it. Let's go ahead and do strong toss here. Left no chance for a reception there. Hey, first down by Smith. Good job, man. Eighty yards. This ninety play just seems to be the one, but it's two minute warning, guys. We got to get something here. So where are we at? We're on the 41. We're going to do a strong G toss. We're going to try to run it. Clock is stopped at 159. Nothing. Let's get us. We didn't get a good block in there. Ontario Smith used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all. Hall's not covered. Not much there. It'll be second down. Oh man, that 21, he, he shuts that down, man. We're not able to get to uh to Moss like we were before. I'm trying to think of what we can do here, guys. I'm actually looking for a circle here. There we go, Luke. Good <laughs> catch, man. Now they're going to start to use their timeouts. So we're going to start to run the ball. We're going to flip this. See if they react. We don't need any mistakes here, guys. Oh, see, like they do it again. There's 55. Good job, Smith. Eight yards. Another timeout. So they leave them with one more. Go ahead and run it. We might be able to pull out a win here, guys, if we just do it right. We get the first, right? We get the first. And that's their last timeout. So really, what happens from here is on us. Honestly, I want to go for the, the seven. We got enough time. But if we get stopped, we get stopped. But 
I want to kind of keep it in the middle here. Do a strong wide trap here. Let the clock dip under a minute. There you go. There you go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. We can punch it in. That'd be great. Third and goal. Wow. Those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. We'll let the clock go, though. Don't want to give them anything. We do have to solve for the field goal. Oh. So, we're going to let the clock go, and then we'll call a timeout. Ted Washington targeted the ball and then we'll kick the field goal. Early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle. All right, two seconds left on the clock. Let's go ahead and get out the uh, field goal team. And let's pull out the win here, guys. Goal to goal. We are, this, this should be an easy one. That's it. And we win, guys. Nice. 12 plays, 67 yards, and we win 17 of 14 against the Pittsburgh Steelers. They gave us a really, really good game. Ooh, so I'll talk to you guys after the post-game report. Welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. The Jaguars stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Seneca Wallace found a little opening. That was all he needed. A six-yard touchdown for the Jaguars. The Jaguars tie it up again, 14 all. This time at the 41, Seneca Wallace would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a no-brainer 20-yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Jags edge out a win, 17 to 14. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Seneca Wallace was kind enough to give us a moment of his time and he's on the field with Susie Collins. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You really hustled today. And you nosed them out in this nail-biter game. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? Our defensive guys were just animals tonight. They were all over the place, and I think they got on their heels a bit. They made things a lot easier for us on the offensive end for show. Back to you, Chris. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time. Guys, we get the dub without Vic, man. I'm going to tell you, it wasn't easy. This was an actual really good Pittsburgh Steelers team. And the reason why I say an actual good team is because the record was pretty poor. And um, I was actually really happy with what Wallace did, given the fact that we don't have Vic. I guess we have Moss back, but forget all that. Dante Hall had a game. Um... I hope that we are able to continue this winning streak uh, through the rest of the season. We only have a handful of games left. Uh, hopefully we, we can win out without Vic. And I really like some of the play calls that we brought in with the rollouts and the play action passes. Looking for Dante and looking for some of these matchups. Um, the running game, I think... I think Smith had a fumble at the beginning of this game. So we got to work on that, man, because if we get into a really close situation and it comes down to Smith or one of our players giving up the ball, that's not going to, that's not going to fly. Uh, but I mean, I felt really good with Wallace. It, it wasn't such a dramatic drop. Like I expected now his overall is in the fifties. I think he's like a 58 overall quarterback, but it's all about how you use him, And he has really good accuracy. So Let's just uh, let's make it through until we get our whole team back. Hopefully nobody else gets hurt. Shout out to our defense for holding uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers down. 
Uh, that was about to get pretty dicey. It was a tied ball game for the majority of it. But if you like ESPN, NFL 2K5 uh, football content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We got a variety of content here on the Wonder Soul YouTube channel. Um, at the time of this recording, it is December, so the holidays are coming up. So we're just going to roll with this. But I'm really excited for the future of, uh, of what we do with this series. And really anything else you guys would like to see on the channel, uh, I'm all for it. Uh, like I've said before, let me know in the comments section how I can improve the presentation of these videos, for one. And for two, how can I improve uh, our gameplay? What should I be thinking about for the offseason? How can we better prepare ourselves for the playoffs? Because we are going to the playoffs. I don't really see us. I think even if we lose out now, we have the Bears, the Green Bay Packers, the Texans, and the Raiders. So we got four games left of the regular season, guys, and then it's playoff football. So I'm excited. I've been having a blast recording these and playing this video game, like I said, and I'll try to remember every time I get a chance, play ESPN NFL 2K5. Get your hands on a copy, play by any means necessary. It is a classic. It is the GOAT when it comes to football games, in my opinion. So thank you for all your support. I'll see you guys next video when we play the Chicago Bears, and we're going to wrap it up with the episode of Sports Center. So... Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. This is Sports Center. I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Panthers stroll away with a 14-point win. The Texans won this contest and will now move to third place in the AFC South. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Chiefs pick up their sixth win of the year. David, please come to Boston. Had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Dante Hall pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Jaguars beat the Steelers. In San Diego, right by Coronado Bay, we had the Chargers get squeezed out by four points. Bengals, Ravens. Joey Galloway, he split out at the 14-yard line as they look to get six. Makes the move toward the middle, and a nice catch at the back of the end zone for six. The Bengals win this one by the final score of 34-23. to Over in Raljon, Maryland, we had the Redskins stroll away with a 14-point win. The Lions got 300-plus yards from their offense in their victory at Ford Field. The Seahawks won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Vikings. The Eagles lost this one, but will stay at number one in the NFC East. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Rams pick up win number seven. Falcons, Buccaneers. Dante Culpepper calling signals at the nine-yard line. Crowd into it now. Rolls right. And look at this toss across his body between defenders. Picture perfect six. The Falcons go on to win this by the final score of 38 to 31. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. Before we get to the big news of the week, let's do a quick shakedown on the rest of the NFL's injuries. Rod Gardner sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. Doctors confirming the worst this week, a torn hamstring. And that'll put him out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. Now the big story of the day. Terrell Owens is going to find himself on the shelf, and that will be a major blow to his team. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. The Vikings drop yet another game and are really struggling on and off the field. Jeff Blake threw three strikes to the end zone and helped his Browns beat the Patriots. And last but not least, we had the Bills come away victorious. All right, Chris, thanks. With the playoffs a little more than a month away, things are starting to get real interesting when it comes to seeding and the races for the division crowns. Let's start things off by taking a look at the AFC. Meanwhile, let's take a look at how things stand over in the NFC. So that's how things shape up. Still plenty of intriguing matchups upcoming as we get closer and closer to January. And that'll do it from here. Chris, let's send it back over to you. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time players.
That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol Studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul. Wonder Soul.